Hey, it's Peter Beattie from PrimoPress.com, and before you get into the video, I just wanted to give you a heads up about a 48-hour special offer Jamie and I have decided to offer for Volume 1 of the Primo Press WordPress themes. As you know, about three weeks ago, Jamie and I released the first three Primo Press themes, the Clean and Flossy theme, uh, the Contractor theme, and the Tasty Place Restaurant theme. We released these as a WSO. Um, and we let it run for about 10 days and then after 10 days we closed it down and no one has been able to buy the themes since then. Uh, well since then we've been working hard on developing some new themes and adding more features into the first three themes. And we've get, been getting lots of emails from people asking how, the, how they can buy these themes because they missed out on the Warrior launch. Well since we're not quite ready to go public yet we've decided to open up a special deal for you know the next 48 hours only we're going to give you a chance to to get these themes that we released you know a couple weeks ago you have for the next 48 hours you have this is your last chance to get these themes if you want them um, so go ahead and click the buy now button below if you have not yet picked these up um, because as soon as we you know get ready to launch these to the public we will never offer a deal like this again you know we can promise you that and each each one of these themes are going to be selling for anywhere from 47 77 on up to 97 dollars or more once we're finally ready to go public in fact we're, we're going to be taking all of our themes straight to clickbank and we're going to be selling them again at a much higher price so here's your last chance to get volume one of primo press doc uh, excuse me here's your last chance to get the first three primo press themes um if you've been you know if you've emailed us asking how you can get them this is your chance so with that said enjoy the web the website client getting video we have in store for you Jamie and I uh, know you're going to love it. So thanks, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, what's up? It's Peter Reedy here, and I'm here with um, J my friend Jamie, uh, go get a gar side, and we decided to uh, put together a short little video for you on, or on a couple of our favorite ways to get web design clients for your business. Now, this can work with not only web design, but if you run an SEO business or um, pretty much any type of local marketing business, this stuff these uh, methods will work. Um, we just wanted to put together this video as a way of saying thanks for all the support on the recent uh, Primo Press version 1 launch that we uh, released a couple weeks ago. And uh, plus we've been getting a lot of questions about how to sell these themes to, to local businesses. So Jamie and I just wanted to put together this quick video for you and we're going to share a couple of, of our favorite ways to get clients. Jamie, if you're here if you want to say hi. Now I guess you can do that. Yeah, no worries. Uh, like uh, Peter has just uh, said, you know, we, we had a lot of questions when we launched the Primo Press themes. Um, you know, we want to thank everybody that picked those up. Um, the, the launch was absolutely awesome. We've got some great themes um, coming over the next few weeks. Um, but one of the, you know, one of the biggest questions is, you know, now I've got these themes, how do I go out there and actually find web design clients? So what we've got today, as Peter has, has just said, um, is, is a quick fire, if you will, like a quick fire video of four different routes um, to, to actually go out there and, and gain web design clients. Some of the favorite ways um, we go about doing it within our own businesses. Yep. Yep. Well said. Yeah. And these aren't, we should also say that these aren't the only ways that you can go out and get clients. These are just a few of our favorite ways that we have used in our business. So without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and lead off with the first slide. And one of my favorite ways to get clients is, of course, using uh, videos, or you can call it video marketing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a few ways that I've used it effectively in my business throughout the years, you know, even before when I, in the very early days of starting my business, I've used video. So let me just go ahead and show you a couple ways that I've used it. Uh, the first way is using it to build expert status and authority you know in your local niche or whatever specific type of niche you're targeting uh, what I did when I first started is I wanted to be seen as um, the local WordPress web designer expert guy whatever you want to call it I wanted people to find my videos while they were searching for uh, local WordPress web designers I wanted them to find my videos uh, watch my videos and then think to themselves hey this guy knows what he's talking about and then they would pick up the phone or email me and I would end up, they would end up paying me to do a website for them. And that actually is what happened. Um, so what I did is I just made, I, I took out a pen and paper and I wrote down a few bullet points on what is it that these business owners uh, want to, want to know, you know, what, when they search on the internet, uh, uh, WordPress web designer, whatever, you know, what kind of videos can I make that are going to make them want to call me? 
And basically what I did is I just made some videos uh, educating them on why WordPress was a good, a good choice for a small business owner. And I made uh, points on how it uh, will save them money in the long run because they can update the website by themselves instead of uh, you know paying me month to month to update it for them. Um, I talked about how it was search engine friendly. You know, all the plus the pluses of own, uh, owning a WordPress powered website. Basically just made a couple short videos and uploaded them to YouTube. And I used my main keywords in the title of the video and I got some nice local traffic that way. People found those videos, watched, watched them and ended up calling me and I ended up getting a couple big clients out of, uh, out of those videos. So that's the first thing I like doing with video, just making videos that project, help project expert status about you and your business, especially if you're new starting out. This would be one of the first things I would recommend doing to build that foundation. Uh, another thing I like doing uh, once you get going is actually sending video proposals to your clients. Now, this only this not only works with uh, approaching clients that you've never, uh, or this not only works with approaching clients the first time, you know, trying to get them as clients. But if you have someone that you're, you know, on the brink of closing a deal with, and uh, maybe you just need to push it over the edge a little more, one thing I like to do is put together a quick little video proposal instead of sending them like a PDF or something or an email. You know, giving them the details on what you're going to charge them and what you're going to do for them. I like to just put that information together in a video and uh, they get to know you a little bit better and connect with you on a personal level. And just send them over a video proposal, um, you know, through email. I usually just send over uh, an unlisted YouTube video so no one else can see it. And again, it just helps steal the deal. Um, I recommend keeping your videos, you know, short and sweet, around two to three minutes long at the most. Um, any more than that and you start to ramble on and... You start to lose people, start to lose people's uh, attention. And uh, also, I recommend on any video that you make to follow a structured plan. Uh, if you noticed in uh, in this video that me and Jamie are doing here, we started out with an intro, basically telling you what we're going to tell you. Um, so we're basically setting the stage and what you can expect out of this video. And the content part is what you're watching right now, where we're actually you know teaching you and giving you information. And at the end of the video, we're going to close with a recap of what we just covered. Just kind of always, it's always nice to have a follow a structured plan like that in every one of your videos. So th those are my uh, couple ways, favorite ways of using video. And again, just to recap, building free videos and, and uh, publishing them throughout the, throughout the internet, you know, on YouTube, whatever, just to develop expert status for yourself. And of course, approaching clients through private videos uh, that you send over via email. So... Those are my couple of my favorite ways, Jamie. If you want to go, take the next slide. Yeah, definitely. Um, that video is is huge, and um, everything Peter covered there is is something every single person you know watching this video can actually do. Um, you know, you don't have to be a, a video guru or or somebody that looks awesome on camera. Um, you know, you could do screen capture videos just like you're watching here. Um, you know, a presentation is always going to grab um, the attention of a business owner over a, a text email. Yeah. Now. What I wanted to talk about um, initially with one of the, the best ways I've generated clients um, ever since I started my business, and this still works today, um, four years on, nearly four years on now, is classified websites. And again, you, we're talking Craigslist. Um, if you're in the UK, um, the biggest one in the UK is Gumtree.com. They also, um, I think they're quite big in Australia as well, Gumtree. Um, I know they do service quite a lot of the big cities worldwide, so certainly check gumtree.com out um, wherever you are based in the world right now. Um, classified sites are huge, and the reason I, I consistently tap into these sites is because our target market, as far as, as business owners, are also using these websites. Now, you can find classified sites wherever you are in the world. It, it isn't all be-all and end-all of, of Craigslist, for example, you know, people outside of the U.S., can sometimes think well there's no big classified sites out there and craigslist doesn't service my town well i've never really used craigslist um as a classified site because it's not the biggest one in the uk if you search online for free classified websites or free classified website advertising the types of uh, searches your potential clients and different business owners would search you know your local plumber around the corner wants to you know try and generate some business online doesn't really know what he's doing um, you know, what's he going to do? He's going to go online and, and search for things like free advertising, free classified advertising, free business directories, this type of thing. So they're very easy to find online. Just search Google and click away. 
Now, when you, you're selecting a classified site to actually um, advertise on, um, there's a few key points um, to take into account. The first one is you need to find the hot sites. Now, what I mean by that is um, there are many classified sites, hundreds if not thousands of them in every single country um, worldwide. So when you search for free classified advertising online or, or free business advertising, you are going to find pages and pages of different classified sites, lots of clone sites. Um, there's lots. Now, not all of them are worth advertising on, advertising your web design services on. You need to find sites that are consistently updated. Now, what I mean by consistently updated is they have brand new listings every single day. So there are actual business owners out there, plumbers, um, hairdressers, beauty salons, um, electricians, plasterers, carpet cleaners, you name it. That are, that are consistently going on these classified sites to post ads. So you need to first off find the classified sites that are consistently updated. This is really easy to see. Um, you know, you select the classified sites, such as gumtree.com as an example here, and just look for recent listings. Um, when you click down into the different sections of a classified site into, say, the services section, contractors, um, there may be a section for therapists, um, a, a, the different business sections, you only have to look at when uh, the dates of the actual ads and when they are posted. You want to find classified sites that have ads, as I say, posted every single day. Now, the reason we look for that is we know our target market are hot on these sites every single day and they're posting their own ads. And above all, they're after business. They're looking to generate business or, or new clients or customers from the Internet. Um, so the approach, uh, well, the, the hot prospects, if you ever want to approach these in regards to a cold call or an email. But what you can also do is get a little bit stealthy with your actual ads you post on these sites. So I find a classified site. Um, so you do the same. You go out, you find a, a, a classified site that has consistent listings on every single day. You can now post your ads on these sites advertising your web design services. Now, your ads just need to be really short and sweet. You don't need to be a guru copywriter um, to generate business from these sites. In fact, keeping it personal um, generally works better than coming across as a, a, a professional, huge corporation type business, if you will. Um, so you need to keep it personal, you know, post an ad, explain what you do, explain, you know, the types of sites you've done. Some of them will allow URL, some of them won't, but you can still type a URL into an ad, even if it isn't a live URL, people can still check those out, you know, for portfolio reasons. If you did pick up the Primo Press themes, you know, set a couple of sites up as example sites for these classified ads as well. Um, you know, having those example sites when you as a web designer, you know, your, your potential clients are going to want to see what work you've already done. So having that within your ad as well is very important. So, again, keep it personal, who you are, what you do, your local um, you work with businesses, with web design. Um, what I like to do is is set myself up, if you will, and profile myself as somebody that helps brand new businesses with brand new websites rather than somebody that's that's working with um, businesses that already have a site. So, you know, targeting, if you will, brand new businesses looking to, to have a website built for the first time. Um, and it, they work really, really well. Now, as far as getting a little bit stealthy with it, what you will find on various classified sites and they will pretty all pretty much all be exactly the same you'll have a section for computers or internet where you've got your general internet based ads so you may have you know web design ads in there you've got graphic designers um seo specialists and this is the section where you know the classified websites are wanting you to to put your ads that's what they've set aside for you the, the good thing about that is obviously people using these classified sites can search out your ads by going to this particular section because they want a web designer, so they check out the ads in there. But the, the problem is it isn't necessarily right in front of the eyes um, a, a, of your potential clients. So what you can also do is post ads in the different sections of these classified sites that aren't necessarily built for you. So you've got, say, for example, a trades or a contractor section where you've got plumbers and home improvement contractors posting ads every day. I would also post an ad in the actual section itself as well. Now, to stop your ads being deleted by the classified site owners, um, you need to make sure your ads are related to the actual business. So if you're going to post in a contractor section um, and, and you want to appeal to plumbers, make sure you write your ad appealing to plumbers. So your title rather than being, you know, I am a web designer or looking for web design, you, you'd, you'd write that differently to appeal to plumbers in that section. So if you are a plumber and you are looking for a website, click here or 
plumbing website design, plumbing services website design. I'm sure you get the picture. Um, what this does as well is I find when doing this, my ads are related to that section and they aren't deleted by the classified site owners. Um, then again, I would just write the ad, um, you know, based around plumbers. I specialize in building websites uh, for, for new plumber websites plumber businesses sorry or I specialize in plumber websites here's an example of one I've just built again link up a site to say a, co a contractor site again if you grab the primo press themes you know just use the contractor theme in there build it around a plumber a plumber if you will or plumbing services and you can slip that link in there as if it's another business um, so again you write the ad to that particular business and related to that business niche now you can then place ads in all different areas of a classified site and, and and have each different ad relating to a different business niche if you will wherever you post them on the site so a beauty salon area of the site beauty health and beauty for example you would write an ad based towards beauty salons beauty salon website design for example so this is a different way you can use classified sites and you're not just following the norm of throwing it in the internet or, or computer section where you are surrounded by every other web designer in there with an ad you can go out there get stealthy make sure you write it related to that business niche you're posting in or the category um, and again build your ads around that they don't need to be um, hugely guru copied up or anything like that um, just you know come across personal explain what you do um, and it, explain what you can do for these businesses and above all, this works. Um, I started off uh, one of uh, very, very early on. wasn't my first client, but within the first week I started uh, my business, I picked up a couple of clients off classified sites way back then, and I still pick up the odd e inquiry every week from classified sites when I post ads on them. Um, so as far as, as myself goes, um, and, and again, a tip for generating web design clients, you need to hit the classified sites up in your area or your country um, because they are full of potential clients. Yeah, well said. Classified sites have worked well for me as well, um, especially uh, help in the early days of me getting started. It really helped me out get those first couple clients. Um, Definitely. It's free advertising as well, which is huge. All right, so I'll move on to the next slide here. Um, one of my favorite ways to get clients is, um, is to partner with businesses who are basically have the same uh, or already have the, your clients that you're wanting to get. And let me say that a little bit. Uh, let me explain that a little bit more. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to partner with uh, B2B or business-to-business -business type businesses, people who are already working with your ideal clients, people like uh, or businesses like bookkeepers. Um, their clients usually consist of you know pretty much any type of small business owner. You know they do the books for carpenters, contractors, real estate agents, uh, you name it. Bookkeepers, you know, they're, they're always, you know, keeping track of books for small business owners. Their, their clients are your clients. So what I found out is if you partner with these types of businesses, you know, bookkeepers, for example, and say, hey, you know, if you're willing to maybe recommend my web design services to your existing clients, um, every paying client that you send to me, I will give you, you know, a, a, a commission. I usually pay them 10 to 15 percent commission. Um, and what you find is, um, you know, just a simple recommendation. Um, you know, bookkeeper, bookkeeper would just give a simple recommendation. Hey, you, you know, if you guys, I heard you guys needed a website. You might want to check out this guy over here. They call you, and before you know it, they're a client because of that strong uh, recommendation um, from a person that they trust. Now, basically, it works like this. You obviously approach a book, something like a bookkeeper. Say what I just said. You know, if you're willing to send me um, some of your existing clients and they become paying customers, I will give you a commission. And the way it works is. Um, you know, you, you basically um, set up some type of simple tracking system. I like to use um, business cards or a little flyer. It's basically a flyer advertising your services. And then on that piece of paper or on that business card, you put um, a tracking code for your affiliate. So at the bottom, you would have your affiliate's logo saying something like, it'll say so-and-so web design services and then in partner with, and then on the bottom, I'll put my, uh, my affiliate's logo. So it just gives them a little bit more of um, uh, proof that they're kind of working with me. And uh, what happens is when that business owner picks up that flyer from that bookkeeper and brings that flyer to me to redeem, you know, a discount or whatever, I know that that person came from, you know, that affiliate. I can look at the business card or look at the flyer and say, hey, you know, it's got this person's logo on it. I know that this customer came from so-and-so bookkeeper. So I know I need to pay them a commission 
um, from the uh, the profits I make from this client. No, definitely. Um, it, it's one of the, the best things you can do. And not a lot of people actually look at doing that. Um, and bookkeepers are probably the best um, area because they do work with smaller businesses. Um, other areas I've found a bit of a success with as far as affiliates go as well is um, sign makers who do like sign writing on vans for like plumbers yeah, and yeah. electricians. They can be they can be another area you can tap into as far as affiliates go. Um, and also as well, um, your clients, uh, you know, when you, you do have a client on board for web design or any clients you already have on board right now, don't be afraid to, you know, approach these clients and, and offer them commissions if they, you know, can refer other business owners to you. Um, and not a lot of people do that, but you know, that's wide open for you to do it. They've already used you. Um, and you, you, you can't get a better, um, you know, referral than somebody saying, look, I use this guy for my website. You want to go and, and use this guy too. Um, you know, I, I recommend him. Um, they get a commission from, you know, referring somebody to you and, and the close is, is as simple, um, as it possibly can be. Go on. Sorry. I was just going to say, and even some, some of your clients won't even expect a commission. They'll just do it just because, you know, they appreciate what the work you've done for them. And I've actually had clients get weirded out. And when I offered to give them a commission, they're like, no, what do you want to pay me for? You know, I'm, just, yeah. <laughs> I'm spreading the word because you did a good job. So definitely another, another one as well. Um, I, well, I had this when I, uh, when I first got an office in, um, in Manchester city center and I didn't live in Manchester at the time. I had an office there because it's, it was the hub of, of business. Um, in the office next door to me, um, there was a, a couple of, um, guys in there that, that ran like a graphic design agency. Um, and they were just running it as, as I was a small business working with other businesses. Um, and they only did, you know, graphic design. They offered web design as well. But because as, as a business, I'm just, I don't want to sway too much from web design, but I offered SEO. Um, I partnered up with these guys next door to me in, in an office. Um, and they used to send clients to me for SEO. Um, if I got a client that would, you know, wanted some sort of web design that I either couldn't handle, maybe it was a bit above my head at the time because I was quite new. Um, I would send them graphic design work. I'd use them for, for logos and things like that. So, you know, you can look as well a bit closer to your actual business niche. And if you offer SEO as a service and you want to focus on that as well, you know, don't be afraid to go out there and find graphic design agencies and ask if they do have an SEO specialist um, because you find that, that some of them would be quite happy to push work your way for a commission. I mean, just, uh, I mean, moving on um, onto the next slide, um, Review hero. Um, the, the reason I put this, this is a, actually a, a technique. Um, and I sort of, I've spoken about this very, very briefly before, really briefly. Um, so you may have, have heard me mention this before, but this is something I've done um, quite recent. Well, I, when I say recently, I've probably been doing this for about six months, but I'm finding it's, it works really well. Um, when I go back to when I started my business, uh, what I'm about to explain uh, as far as generating new clients here with what I call the review hero. Um, I couldn't really do this at the very beginning, but because more and more people are coming online, um, the, just the Joe public, if you will, they leave reviews now online for things like restaurants, hotels, bars, clubs, you know, they go out for a, a meal at the weekend. Um, you know, if they don't like that meal, for example, at a certain Chinese restaurant or a Japanese restaurant or Italian, wherever, you know, they go straight online and add these reviews to things like TripAdvisor, um, and some of the bigger review sites, you may have even read reviews on yourself. Now, what I've been doing recently, and it works really, really well because a, a business owner, when you show them this, um, you can you find it really hard to say no because they sort of have to do do what I'm about to explain. But what I do is I go out there um, in my in cities throughout the UK um, on Google, and I will search um, for I'll get a list get a list of restaurants. So obviously, there's going to be thousands depending on where you are and how big a city you're in. So, you know, focus on one type of restaurant. So, for example, Chinese restaurants, get a list of them. You can open the yellow pages if, if you don't want to go out there and, and search on Google um, and just type their company names or their restaurant names into Google. Uh, make sure you follow their, their restaurant name with the actual city you are in because you find, for example, Chinese restaurants, you, there's probably it's the same named restaurant, if you will, in, in another city. So, um, again, find um, restaurants, get a list, type the restaurant name into Google with, you know, followed by your city and just check out what comes up on the top page. If they've got a website that will more than likely come up on the top page nine out of 10 times. 
Um, so if you don't see a website right off the bat on that top page, um, nine out of 10 times, as I say, they've probably not got a website. Now, what I look for on the top page, what I'm searching for this company, I'm not just going to approach them and say, I've found you've no website. Um, do you want a website? I will look on the top page for the, the company names that are coming up with bad reviews. So when you search for, say, the Bamboo Chinese Restaurant in Manchester, if they didn't have a website um, and they're, they're, you know, an established restaurant or or they're no, they're known, if you will, the chances are they may have had a bad review written about them because everybody does get bad reviews from time to time in restaurants um, and hotels, bars and clubs. Um, you find that somebody may have written a bad review on a site such as TripAdvisor. And what happens is when you type their name in, rather than a website because they don't have one, these bad reviews are then coming up on that top page. So when I find these, um, I basically put together a video proposal, um, kind of like what uh, Peter explained in the video marketing um, slide at the beginning here. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be long. It literally a couple of minutes. I just do a screen capture um, video. Um, and what I basically do is just point out the, the bad reviews. I explain who I am, obviously introduce myself. That I, I build websites for Chinese restaurants. That's a speciality of mine. Um, I don't know if you're aware of it, but um, when you type your, your restaurant name into Google right now, which is what people will do if they're thinking of eating at your restaurant tonight and they've never eaten there before, they hit Google to see if you've got any reviews. I don't know if you're aware of this, Mr. Chinese restaurant owner or Mrs. Chinese restaurant owner, uh, but you know, look at these reviews, these bad reviews that are coming up on Google at the moment. Now, I can't take those reviews down, but what I can do is build you a website and make sure your website appears above those reviews. So when somebody searches your company, you know, your Chinese restaurant um, online, um, rather than, you know, hitting um, a, a bunch of bad reviews, they see your website, they click on your website and you can put whatever reviews you want on your website. Um, so I just put a video proposal together, a screen capture. I just point this out to them so they can see it on screen because Believe it or not, um, a lot of restaurant owners that have the uh, restaurants that will have um, what I'm explaining now um, don't even know that there are bad reviews on Google about them. So it's kind of an eye opener for them. Um, so I point to the issue, explain why this is happening. They don't have a site. So this is why those are ranking there um, and explain how you can help. Very, very simple. Two minutes. And again, uh, how can a, a restaurant owner say no to that? They've got to think straight away, I need a website. If they're, if they're already looking, um, they may have somebody already in mind, but the chances are they're not already looking for a website and you've just opened up a reason for them to get a web. So yeah, that's that's a, a huge, huge uh, technique I've been using in, in the majority past six months. Uh, this is quite new. So uh, like I say, guys, there's, there's four different ways there that you can go out there and generate web design clients today. Every single one of, of these quick fire web design client generation techniques that myself and Peter have just, you know, outlined for you, um, you know, you can do it doesn't cost you any money to do it. Uh, the only money involved with the, the local affiliate action is when you actually gain a client anyway. Um, and every single person, as I say, watching this has the ability to go out there and do this. Yeah. So, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know if you've got anything else to add, have you, Peter? No, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, just stress that, you know, first of all, these aren't the only ways to get clients, obviously. And if Definitely. You, and you probably notice that these aren't, you know, the, you probably hear a lot of the latest and greatest uh, ways to, you know, and client getting and stuff like that. But if you just stick to the basics and use what works, you know, you're going to get clients and especially take action. Um but, uh, you know, there's unlimited ways out there to, to approach local businesses and actually secure them as clients. But if you just focus on a couple favorite ways you like doing it, you'll, you know, you'll get clients in no time. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I get to say. Yeah, definitely. I, as like, uh, well, as I said before, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, you know, as Peter just said, take action on this. Um, you know, you're not going to get any clients just watching uh, this video and, and thinking, you know, great ideas. You do need to take action. Um, so we're going to sign off. It's Jamie Golgetter Garside and Peter Beatty from PrimoPress.com. Uh, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next video.